to Hello Nigeria. Thank you so much for staying with us. Chloe Abiri is in the studio and we have a lot to discuss. So I'm just going to get straight into it without further ado. How okay. are you doing today? I'm good, and you? <laughs> I'm great, I'm great. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It means a lot. Okay, so a lot of our viewers want to get to know who Chloe Abiri is. So I am going to hand over straight to you and ask you, who is Chloe Abiri? Okay, my name is Abiri Oluwabusayo, Chloe, <laughs> the way we we introduce ourselves. Yeah. My name. <laughs> I'm 25 years old. I'm a model, uh, an actor, upcoming actor, actually, an ex-Big Brother Ninja 2018 housemate. I'm a fashion designer, too, and... I love anything about skincare, so I can call myself a beauty and a uh, skin enthusiast. That's so, amazing. Um, Chloe is just Chloe. There's no big deal about me. I can't really say much about myself. I like people to like say what they feel about me. I'm that kind of person that I don't want to explain myself too much to you. I like mm -hmm. when you just pick something and just say about me because no matter what, even if I introduce myself a hundred and one times, you still have what you want to say about me. So I don't True. really like to introduce myself True. like in a big way. So I'm just Chloe. Well, there I'm we go. Good. Chloe is Chloe and you're extremely multifaceted. You mentioned a lot. You're a fashion designer. You're yeah. a model, ex Big Brother Nigeria 2018 yeah. housemate, skincare and beauty enthusiast. Let's start off with you being a model. How did you break into the modeling industry? Oh my God, that's, that's a long story. I. I think it's about seven, eight years ago, my mom actually made me. And my area people will be like, oh my God, Chloe, the way you walk, the way you do. I'm like, no, I am very sure because I'm five, seven feet tall. And I did something bad to my mom one time and she scraped off my hair. I was bowed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was bowed then. She sent me to a cage for my house and I was in the bus, a public bus. Then this woman said to me, I'm like, oh my God, you're so pretty. And I'm like, I was actually tying a scarf. And my mom called me from the street and took off the scarf and said, go like that. That's the main reason why I buy it. Wait, wait, wait please. Hair. What exactly did you do <laughs> to make your mom There's this guy on my street. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy on my street yeah. I was talking to then. Okay. And you know how you about women. I'm me. telling you. So she spoke <laughs> over my head. Then I took the woman's number. Then I went for a shoot. And from there, I met a lot of people. Then I worked with uh, Tiana Styling. For uh, a lookbook, I worked with Paulu Konu. Okay, interesting, know, so interesting. Okay, so quite a few, <laughs> quite a few um, big brands. That's interesting. Okay, so let's move on to you as a fashion designer. Yeah. How did you break into that? Have you always had a passion for fashion? I always have passion for comfort, comfortability, like whatever you wear and you're comfortable in. Uh, people always say you don't, you lack dress sense. To some people, but to some people, my dress is actually good. But I say to people, whatever you're comfortable in makes you who you are. Like, your, your mood is your dress. Like, to, today, I just, feel, I just feel like I want to be free, free. and yeah. I just put this on. If I want to overdress, I can come in suits because of the interview. I mean, I feel like you're dressed the way you want to be addressed. People always say that, but sometimes it's just your mood the way you want people to look at you, the way you want people to approach you. Now I'm friendly, like I'm looking so... You're popping. <laughs> you You're popping. Know, people can come and say hi to me. Yeah. But those days I wear my joggers and wear T-shirts and put on shades and stuff like that. People will be like, oh my God, she's so mean. So I believe in putting things together. That's one thing about me. And you don't have to overdress to be dressed. What challenges would you say that you face, though, as a fashion designer in Nigeria today? The fashion industry here is booming yeah. like crazy. Have you faced any challenges? Do you think the market is a bit saturated? Oh, yes, we are facing a lot of challenges. I won't talk about myself alone because I spoke to like a couple of fashion designers, too, and they're having the same problem. We have a problem with tailors. Man, God almighty, you dream about something, you visualize about something, you sketch it down or you explain to a tailor, all for them to carry out this thing, this beautiful thing. And when you see your clothes, you're like, oh my God, hmm. where did I go wrong? So I think we're having a lot of problems with tailors. And I think most of our tailors that are good in Nigeria are coming from other countries. How that? Do you think that the problem is because we've looked down on vocational training? So people who are tailors today in Nigeria are there because it was maybe the only job they could get. They never actually went through the skills and training to be a professional tailor because 
we look down on anything that is not an academic study? Yes, that's the problem. I said something when I was going to Big Brother. People think I was joking. I said, if I was opportuned, I'm going to stop university education. Before you go to university, at least you have to learn one hand work. I remember when I was in GS3, they brought those vocational stuff, um, computer engineering, and uh, computer learning, mm. and all those things. But after one term, there is, there is no more stuff like that. People don't even know how to do hand work. And a lot of people are going to school only for them to finish the first class, second class, and still end up being a gate man. What happened to hand work? But would you say, would you say though that stopping university education is the solution? <laughs> <laughs> because, I, no, I yeah. didn't mean like stop. Yeah. At least you need to learn one hand work before you go to university. Mm. For instance, and the, let me say a low class Nigerian can't afford a university. Mm. Your parent can pay for mm. you. And we see a lot of people how they're doing all sort of things. Yeah. What happens? What imagine me being in a hall mm. that I can make clothes for everybody in the hall to pay my school fees. We don't really put all those things into consideration. That is actually a very, very good point. That is a very good point to make, actually. And maybe if we actually start encouraging more people to develop when, when did you when would you say you started to develop Let's, I'm sorry, more co-curricular skills. Was it in your final years of secondary school? If my friend, I finished university before I went to a fashion school. Wow, interesting. Yes. interesting. I finished, the, my mom would not let me. Like we have the stigma that you feel like when you learn hard work, you're from the poorest home, or you're from a local area, or your parents are not educated, or you have no future mm. ambition, which is not so. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, people that are making money off the street, are people that learn handwork. That is a very good point to make. On that note, we're going to throw over to the news center. GBK is standing by to give you all the updates. And of course, as soon as we are back, Chloe is still going to be in the studio with me. We're going to be looking into her time on Big Brother 2018, as well as some skincare trip tips and tricks, if I got it right this time, for all of us. Because trust me, I need them. And you may as well. Stay tuned. This six minutes of Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We are back live on set and of course Chloe is still here to tell us all about herself and we are still catching up. Thank you so much for still being here. You're welcome. Okay, so let's move over quickly and touch on Big Brother Niger 2018. What was the experience like? <laughs> um, it's one of a kind actually. It's one of a kind. I can't imagine being in one house with 19 different contestants and one winner. It's just like... <laughs> The whole 19 people just escort the winner to the house for three months. So it was quite an amazing experience. I love it. Were you scared to go in at first? No, I wasn't. But when I got in, I was really scared. I feel like I want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> did you know anyone that was going into the house as well? Or did you go in not knowing anyone that was going in? Actually, I knew two people, but mm. I didn't know they were going. Like, getting to the house, I'm like, oh my God. Actually, three. Amazing. Four. Oh, wow. Four, yes. <laughs> that was Vandora because mm. we had a show going on before the event. Mm. Um, Teddy. Teddy has been like my big brother for a while. K. Brule has been my friend. And Leo, we met like a, shortly before, before the Amazing. Um, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So tell me, what would you say was your best experience and what would you say was your worst? Okay, my best experience in that house is actu was actually uh, the arena game. I'm always always scared of games always scared of doing things adventures and stuff like that like oh my god i can't do this i can't do this so my best experience in the house actually have to be the arena game and my worst experience is the fact that um you can be everybody's friend you know that and i try to be very open and be very honest and accommodating to some people and they still turn it around and still use it against me so that's like the experience I don't really like now is because mm. I'm a very free and fair person. Yeah, I get mm. you. But if you had the chance to go back on Big Brother Niger, would you do it again? Okay, the last time I came, because I came out the first time and yeah. I went back. And I went for an interview. I said, no, if I had the chance, I won't go back. And I actually went back. Yeah. So I'm not going to say that again. So anyway, it depends <laughs> on my mood. <laughs> I'm not going to say that fair again. Enough, fair enough, fair enough. Depends on my mood. Fair enough. Okay, now for the next few minutes, our focus points is going to be totally on Chloe as a skincare enthusiast. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me what 
what derived your passion for skincare and what that journey has been like. Okay, uh, firstly, I say a good skin is a happy skin. And once your skin is happy with you, whatever you put on or whatever thing you do, you're just so happy with yourself, with makeup or without makeup. And skin is, let me say, this is our identity. Be it black, white, gray, whatever color you are. This is your identity. This yeah. is what shows that you're a woman or a man or whatever you are. You have to invest in your skin. Take care of your skin because I used to say this thing, but people used to miss coats. I say you can wear cheap clothes, wear cheap shoes, but you can't have a ugly skin, ugly face, and a tacky hair and say you're, you, you're good. Three things as a lady you have to invest yeah. in. Your body. I don't mean your body shape. Your skin, your makeup, even if it's lit, to make sure you have the good product that won't affect your skin. Because there are some people that don't know that some products you use on your skin affects your skin. Then you have to invest in your hair. Because, girl, you got to fly. You got to fly. <laughs> you know? I actually recently found out the milk of magnesia is actually really bad for your skin. And a lot of people use it in makeup because... They want their skin not to be oily. And yeah, I even used to use it as well. And then I realized, like, come on, me, that I have fresh face. I'm breaking out. What is going on? A lot of people, see, there are different kinds of skins. We have the dry skin. We have the oily skins. We have the very sensitive skin. We have some partly sensitive skins. And people, first thing you need to do is to understand your skin. Study your skin. So... I used to do something, if I use a new product now, I give it like two, three days before I use another product to check if actually that skin works with me. And me, I won't lie for me, natural and organic things are the only thing that work for my skin. High five, girl. High five. Yeah, yeah, natural and organic stuffs. People don't understand that you can glow and maintain your skin color with natural and organic stuff, but they want to yeah. tone it up. I'm, I don't get it. No, I am all for natural skincare. As a matter of fact, anything that comes in a bottle that's off the <laughs> shelf and it has this and that as ingredients, I don't want to know. I used to tell people, mm. I'm not trying to like spoil some people's market because we're going to hit on this table. Mm. For your own skin, it's not about me paying you to hit. Yeah. It's about me having a good skin exactly. because my skin is my identity. Don't yeah. just try to tamper <laughs> with it. Please I just leave you. me alone. I get a lot you. of people don't understand that if you have an oily skin, there are some things you need to do. Mm. Then you start getting stuffs for oily okay. skin. What are the things that you need to do? Firstly, you have to wash your skin. Uh, you have to wash your face mm. at least two or three times in a day. Yeah. Wash it. Make sure you wash it with a very cool water. Mm -hmm. Then dab it. Mm -hmm. Don't always, like, just rub your skin off. Mm. If you have a very dry skin, make sure you use partly sometimes cold water, sometimes lukewarm water. So, like, put it on in, in, in a towel, a clean towel, and mm. rub it around your skin. You have to just let the skin breathe. And people don't know too much makeups irritates your skin. It's just like walking for days, you get sick. When you put too much makeup on this face, it makes it weak and it starts reacting to things. Mm. Don't try things. Use natural and it's organic stuff. dependent on like the products, though, the makeup products, because for people like you and I who are in the industry, we have to wear makeup like 24-7. <laughs> and personally... It gets to a point where I start getting upset because I'm like, I just want my skin to be free. Yeah. But would you say that it's dependent on the products that we use? Or is it just makeup as a whole? See, you can use a bad makeup and still maintain your body. <clears throat> I have different makeup artists. Mm. You test different um, products on my skin. It's not like I have this particular product that I use all the time. After makeup, what do you do to your skin? What do you do to your face? A lot of people use chemical wipes. I won't advise that. I use baby wipes. That's what I use. I use baby wipes as well. It's, I use baby off. wipes. Then after, make sure you wash your skin. Don't just mm -hmm. use wipes and sleep. Black soap. Be yeah, yeah. Black soap. <laughs> because you have, you still yeah. have some things, some chemicals, some gems mm -hmm. from all those things that you've used that are still there. You still need to, you need to wash your skin. Then one more thing before you sleep. Make sure you put a oil on your face. Like, Make sure your face is moisturized. Like it's, even if you have oily skin? Even if you have uh, um, mm. coconut oil, actually, for instance, mm. actually help oily skin. People don't know that. Amazing. It Amazing. helps. It helps to, like, take away the excess oils. Mm. That is why natural product is good. Okay, so what would you say are your top five favorite natural products to use? Products? Natural products? My products. Yeah. My products. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. product. Actually, I make my soap myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to give a little tip. I actually put my black soap in this mortar and pound it and put zero, I mean, low sugar yogurt. 
Amazing. Trust me, loose sugar yogurt, and I put a little bit of vanilla and coconut oil. So when I finish bathing, my skin is still like glowing. Amazing. I use coconut oil, natural coconut oil mixed with some things I won't tell you guys. So if I'm selling you, buy. <laughs> I use um... hot compress or cold compress because we often have this argument as well. People think that one is better for the skin and one is better for the hair, or one works better for dry skin, one works better for oily skin. I love the oily and um, the liquid one. Mm. I, I don't know, I've not, I've mm. tried that one before, but mm. actually it gives some white stain on my hair mm. and stuff like that, and it dry up easily. So I think the liquid one is better. Yeah. I've not tried the other one, so. Mm. And um, what else do I use? Not so much. Shea so, butter? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I do some magic with that shea butter. I think I'm I need a shea to, butter I, addict. I think I need to send you some. I mix you some know, things together. Because I tell you something, actually? I was meant to start my own natural skincare company earlier on this year, and yeah. I just didn't have the time. So I have so many products sitting in my house. I, need, I think I need to bring some to Please you. Please bring to yeah. me. I'll, I'll, come, I'll come get it myself. <laughs> Definitely. Funny enough is that shea butter has a smell that people are always like, oh my God, shea butter. And people used to lie to others and tell you shea butter and coconut oil will make you dark. Please, can you see her? Can you see her skin? Glow. Wink. <laughs> people you always have. And they'll be like, I'll tell you, get shea butter, get this. Like, no, I don't want to get dark. Mm. Who's telling you that? Who's lying to but you? But what is it? What is it with people on having a problem with getting dark? They want to glow. They want to shine. They want to... But <laughs> does being dark mean that you can't glow? Because there are some models that have so much melanin and all I've they yes, met me. Thank you. Thank you. Like, thank you. Have you, have you seen mm -hmm. Chloe? Have you seen my exactly. skin? Exactly. People don't understand that, like I said, no matter your color, your complexion, whatever, you can still glow. <laughs> you, people, as when I say this thing, yeah. it, it burns me so hard that I feel like people don't just understand what they do to their skin. You're in your 20s and you're messing with your skin. What will happen to you when you're 40, 50? We cannot, we can do surgery for other things, but you can't change the layer of your skin. Don't get it yeah. twisted. And what you put on the outside is important, but what you put on the inside is and, also important. And I think what you eat actually reflects on your skin yeah. because whatever we eat reflects on everything about us, your health, your air, everything about you. So people don't just watch it. You just eat anyhow and just feel like, oh my God, junk is good for me and stuff like that. You don't even drink a lot of water. At least drink eight to 10 glasses of water in a day. It helps you, it escalates your skin, it helps you glow from within. People don't even eat fruits anymore. <laughs> when you ask your friends and be like, did you eat fruit yesterday? They'll be like, I'm not sick. <laughs> like, are you okay? <laughs> That's Nigerian yeah. so be like, I'm not sick, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm like, no. And there's too much oil in the average Nigerian diet. Too much. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> even from buying, uh, I'm sorry to say, meat pie sometimes, yeah. if you break it, you see oil yeah. inside. So just help yourself. Natural products and... Like, water is a solution to everything. People don't know. Water can make your dry skin come back to life. Water can stop your oily skin. People don't just understand this thing. Natural products are actually the best. Don't... I'm not saying people should not say hello. You, <laughs> you, want, to, you want to light, lighten up, it's okay, it's mm. cool. That's what you want to do. Feel comfortable in your skin. But as for me, I will melanin have to pop. And you got a popping, girl. You got a popping. <laughs> it's up to pop. <laughs> it's up to. I get Because you. I see a lot of people dress nice. You're wearing some nice designer clothes and stuff like that. But looking at you from down, before I even compliment your dress, I see too many, too many pimples, too many rashes and everything. I'm like, no, don't worry. I'll pass. Yeah. And skincare is beyond the face as well. People don't get it. Yeah. It is beyond the face. What you use on your skin really matter. Mm -hmm. Me, I use black soap. I won't lie. I use black Me soap. Too. I made my black soap with yogurt. That's, that's the only trick I'm going to give you guys. I want to try that, actually. <laughs> Please, try your black soap. Try to match it with yogurt and put just a little bit of vanilla extract to give you that smell. That smell. Because people often have a problem with the smells with of certain smell. products. Like shea butter, for example. I gave someone some of my shea butter and they said, I love it on my skin, but I just can't go around with that That's smell. why I say I, sh I should give you the one I make, because I make my soap, my I put some things inside hey. that. What are you yeah. using? Hey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like your shea butter, you can mix it up with a bit of vanilla extract. Yeah. Vanilla extract is actually good for your body, grapeseed oil, and all Even those peppermint things. peppermint oil. Put these things inside and glow. Sister, you have to glow. It's you really have nice. to glow. You have to glow. <laughs> you and have one other glow. thing that you mentioned that you need for the entire glow package is hair. Now, some people, I'm sure that people watching out there saying, good hair is money. Yeah. Is that the case? I, I, I think Nigerians would rather buy 
20 pieces of bad hair instead of buying two pieces of good hair. <laughs> How do, why would you do that to yourself? Think about it. Be an economist with yourself. Try to economize your money. Am I going to save up to buy one good hair or buy five bad hairs that's going to like? And the difference is not that much. I won't lie. You don't have to buy the most expensive hair, but at least buy good hair or know how to maintain your hairs. Yeah. Some people have good hairs, but they don't know how to maintain it. I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm okay, a victim to that. <laughs> <as well. laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> but now I realize that having a good skin, a good makeup on, and your hair is tacky doesn't even... Oh, man, how, how are you going to do that to yourself, girl? How are you going <laughs> to do that to yourself? Like, so. how? <laughs> So let's round it all up. Yogurt and your black soap. Yeah. Coconut oil if you have oily skin. Yeah. Chia butter is your best friend. You can infuse best it. Friend. You can whip it. What yeah. else do we touch on? Um, Skincare is beyond the face. Water, please. Water is your best friend. Milk of magnesia is a Yoruba demon. <laughs> <laughs> But that is yes, brilliant. Yes. That is brilliant. <laughs> now, I am not going to let you go without delving into acting. Okay. You ever going to get involved in the Nollywood industry? Yes, I already am. I'm already in. Before I went for Big Brother, I actually featured in a couple of movies, like four Amazing. before I went for Big Brother. Amazing. And thanks to Funke Akindele for giving me the opportunity to actually feature in uh, Jennifer's Diary. I really do appreciate that. And some other movies. And I just finished shooting uh, a movie like four or five days ago with School Air for us. That is amazing. I'm, I'm taking it one step at a time. But do you feel like you want to make that a full time career in any way? Chloe the actor. Okay, I think before I was yeah. so much in love with acting, but I think we are lacking a lot of things in directing and producing. I think I would just dive back to that to that side and just learn more about that. Yeah, because okay. I see a lot of too many commas in <laughs> in Nigerian movies. I can't see. I see reason. I, don't, I see no reason why I'm waking up in the morning with full glam makeup on my face. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, that is actually a very good point. <laughs> like, so please, we need to just handle that part. So let me just. Go to that part and just brilliant. I just something brilliant. So, how can people contact you on social media for more information? Okay, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Coco by Chloe, K O K O B Y K H L O E, and you can follow me on Twitter, Coco by Chloe underscore one underscore Hey, sorry, <laughs> and uh, Facebook. I don't really do Facebook too much, so please don't send your message there. And what else? Just send me a DM. <laughs> <laughs> Slide into Chloe's DMs. To enjoy more of this our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.